Hello everyone, my name is Tian Lin and today we talk about the anniversary jubilee event in the Elder Scrolls Online. As always, we find timestamps in the video description and also a guide on my website. Usually, the anniversary jubilee event takes place at the beginning of April after the Justice Festival. This year is O celebrating their 10 year anniversary and the event will run for a longer time, starting on the 4th of April until the 23rd of April. The Anniversary Jubilee Festivities commenced this year with a slight change. While Chef Donalon is currently on vacation, his dedicated son and apprentice, Mog, takes the reins. To acquire the Jubilee Cake, navigate to the Crown Store and locate a complimentary event quest starter. Upon acquiring the starter, initiate a quest titled For Cake's Sake. This quest will guide you through the initial steps of obtaining the esteemed Jubilee Cake. Now we have to visit Apprentice Mog. We will find him at the dockyards of Devon's Watch and Stone Falls, at the docks in Wilker Guard in Auridon, or in the northern harbour district of Daggerfall in Glenumbra. You can visit any of the locations regardless of your alliance. Apprentice Mork will request your assistance with several tasks for the Jubilee Cakes creation. These include engaging in a playful pie flying competition with nearby chefs, locating Chef Donalon's secret flower blend, finding Mork's essential sugar mix. Conveniently, quest markers will guide you through each stage of this culinary adventure. Upon successful completion of the quest and returning to Mork, you will be rewarded with the Jubilee Cake. Each year ESO features a unique and yummy cake design. To use the Jubilee Cake, follow these steps. Access your collections menu, navigate to the tools section, locate the Jubilee Cake Memento, and once used, the Jubilee Cake will be summoned into the world. By interacting with the cake and taking a slice, you receive event tickets with a limit of once per day per account. The Anniversary Jubilee event grants all players a double XP buff. Starting in 2024, this buff is automatically active throughout the entire event duration. This means you no longer need to remember to use the Jubilee Cake Memento every two hours. While the Jubilee Cake Memento is still available in your collections, it no longer provides any buff during the event. During the Anniversary Jubilee event, you can earn glorious Jubilee gift boxes and Jubilee gift boxes for completing any daily or weekly repeatable quest anywhere in ESO. Which means you can earn Anniversary Jubilee gift boxes, for example, from daily crafting wits, daily world boss, stealth and incursion quests, daily dungeon quests, weekly tri quests, daily heist quests, daily sacrament quests, daily alliance war and battleground quests and more. This year, ESO made even more changes to the Anniversary Jubilee event and you can now obtain Jubilee gift boxes also from following activities. Killing and looting any final dungeon boss. Killing and looting any final trial boss. Killing and looting any world boss. Completing any incursion event like Dark Anchors, Abyssal Geysers, Dragons, Bastionimic, etc. Rewards for the worthy reward mails. And Tales of Tribute reward bags. The first daily repeatable quest you complete per day will reward you with a glorious Jubilee gift box, which will be more rewarding than the regular Anniversary Jubilee gift boxes. The glorious Jubilee gift boxes and the Jubilee gift boxes can provide unique rewards like crafting materials, furnishing recipes, transmutation crystals, style items, variable crafting motive pages, bone mode style pages, labor key style pages, worm cold style pages, Jubilee Confetti Packs and the new Earthborn Aided Style Pages. Furthermore, you will find in Glorious Jubilee Gift Boxes a guaranteed Jubilee Confetti Pack Fragment for the brand new event Unique Jubilee Steed. The Jubilee Steed is a beautiful horse which you can acquire by completing the Jubilee Confetti Conveyor Achievement. Collect and consume 25 Jubilee Confetti Packs to complete this achievement. You don't have to store the Jubilee Confetti Packs in your inventory. Use them immediately and the counter of the Jubilee Confetti Convoyer Achievement will increase. Once you completed the Jubilee Confetti Convoyer Achievement, the Jubilee Steed will be unlocked and added to your collection. As said earlier, you can earn Jubilee Gift Boxes from Daily Repeatable Quests. You can find hundreds of different Daily Repeatable Quests in the Elder Scrolls Online. Daily repeatable quests are easily identified by green quest markers 
And there's also a note in your quest journal. There are daily VTP quests available for all kinds of content. You can complete crafting, PvP, dungeons, arena, NPC guilds, zone dailies and more. On my website you can find helpful articles to guide you to the different dailies across Tamriel. You can prepare daily VTP quests in advance to earn extra jubilee gift boxes. I usually prepare the daily crafting quest for the anniversary jubilee event. That means a day before the event starts, I pick up and prepare daily PTB requests but don't hand them in. Like that, I can complete as soon as the anniversary jubilee event starts, multiple dailies and can complete even more since you can do the dailies of that day too. That means you can earn a lot extra anniversary jubilee gift boxes. Of course, you can prepare all kind of daily PTB requests if you like to do so. To celebrate ESO's 10 year anniversary, they are adding even more unique rewards this year. During the Anniversary Jubilee event, you have an extremely rare chance to find from any fishing node an outfit style page for the True Flame Sword Replica. Furthermore, any Dolmen reward chest has a chance to contain an outfit style page for the Staff of Worms Replica. In Wardenfell, you have the chance to find the Sunara Replica and Baba's Wolf Helmet Replica by defeating any world boss in Morrowind. And any Geysir in Somerset has a chance to drop outfit style pages for the all 4 stuff. You can also earn 3 van tickets per day per account during the Anniversary Jubilee event. Just use the cake memento and eat a piece of cake and you will get your 3 van tickets. The Empresari event merchant will also open a shop during the Anniversary Jubilee event. She will offer following items. Earthborn Eyelid style pages, Jubilee confetti packs, all three Mulak Ball Illusion Impact Fragments, the first and second fragment for the Master of Schemes personality, replica Jubilee Cake Furnishings from 2016 until 2024 if you earn the related achievements, replica Jubilee Cake Slices from 2016 until 2024, back of Jubilee Yesteryear and more. Several rewards from previous Anniversary Jubilee events can no longer be found in Anniversary Jubilee gift boxes. These rewards are now included in the back of Jubilee yesteryear, which you can purchase for 2 event tickets from the Empresario event merchant. Inside the back of Jubilee yesteryear, you can find following style pages. Warm Cold Style, Jeffrey Paladin Style, Imperial Champion Style, Prophet Style, Up Northern Style, Dice Han Style and Lyris Titanborn Style. You can also find Bone Mode Style pages and Saber Keel Panoply style pages. I will link showcases of these styles in the video description. Any items you buy from the Impresario with event tickets will be bound to your account and you can't trade them. The Aurora Firepot Spider Pet Fragments are also included in the back of Jubilee yesteryear. To unlock the Aurora Firepot Spider Pet, you need to collect in total 4 fragments. 3 fragments, the front legs, rear legs, and the fire pot may be found in Back of Jubilee yesteryear. In the final fourth fragment, the Aurora Fire Pot Spider Instructions, which is necessary to combine the pet, is sold by the Empresario's assistant. You can find the Empresario's assistant videos to me at any Empresario's tent. The Indrik vendor will also open the shop during the event. She offers during the second quarter of 2024 Nesson Indrik Feathers, Luminous Intrig Berries and Ice Breath Intrig Berries. You can also purchase the Shimmering Intrig Pet and the Rhyme Dusk Intrig Pet. Helios Dome, the Empresario's assistant, will also open a shop during the event. He offers during the second quarter of 2024 Unstable Morphly Pack Fragments and the Dead and Scorched Skin Fragments. A huge thanks to all the supporters on Kofi as well as those who are members on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks for watching and it would be fantastic if you could subscribe, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Have a pleasant day and I will see you next time. Toodles!